If you joined us in our last build video, we began modifying a brand new 2020 Tacoma by installing skid plates, sliders, and diff armor. Several weeks have passed since then, along with some other additions. We are now moving on to the next phase of this build and installing a full suspension upgrade. So stick around as we transform this Tacoma into an overlanding beast. Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another continuation of the install build for the Tacoma Brad and I were putting together. Uh, so today we got a suspension install and we don't exactly have a warm garage to work out of, but we're gonna make the best of it. It's about uh, 40 degrees here in Denver and cloudy, but we're gonna make the best of it. Let's get to it. Some additional mods that got installed off camera was the Goose Gear bed plate, Alucab ammo box slide, and of course the Alucab contour canopy. First up was the front suspension, so we jacked up the taco and began our preparations. With the lower control arm finally disassembled, we were ready to install the new shock. Now that the passenger shock was in position, it was time to start removing the stock shock on the driver's side. Uh, let's get this POS out of here. Stock. Oh, Pete's twerking it right now. Pete's twerking it right yeah. now. Except, I can't get the ratchet out. All right, going in like this. <laughs> With both front shocks now in place, we started to loosely reassemble the components. <laughs> yeah, I, can we get it forward If anymore? I go forward and you go back and towards you, can you pivot it? Um, it's, you touching? Yeah, I'm touching now. If you want to pivot it forward anymore, I don't know if you can. We remounted the tires and torqued the lug nuts to 83 foot-pounds. This is your favorite part, isn't it? It is. All the wee, all the wee sounds. <laughs> With the front shocks basically completed, it was now onto the rear leaf packs and shocks. Well, Justin, we're gonna have to jack it up again. <laughs> oh, full belly. <laughs> Let 
just go under the flat armor? You want to take the brake line bracket off? Okay. Mm -hmm. At least that guy needs pliers. Okay. Don't pull no. on it. Okay. Don't break it. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. Bilsteins and timber and bump socks. Yeah. Stock bump stop, timber and bump stop. I know. Ooh. So do the new springs have some sort of a lining pins or something so that the axle goes in the screw? There's a pin in the uh, top of the mount. So yeah, they all do. We began to unbolt and remove the stock leaf packs. Cheers. <laughs> The Deaver bad boy in here. And the timber. And the timber in here. And I just get the U bolts short up and tightened up. And then on to the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to get a shoulder workout today, Brad. <laughs> I was already sore. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the full travel. Oh, it's too short. <laughs> oh no, we got two shorter ones. Mm -hmm. no, I think that's the limit that we're yeah. supposed to have. Yeah, okay. Well then, let's put the other side in. Let's look good. It goes like this. All right. B on the bottom? Yeah. Other way, B no, on the bottom. This way. So I gotta. Does it fit the frame hole? It freaking does. It's pretty impressive. Oh, this is the hard part. Well, we got everything pretty much buttoned up here. The tires are back on, and we're about to drop it off the jack stands and the jacks to see where this taco sits. It's Brad! Well, oh, shocks are on, everything's settled, man. Got some height. Once the taco was back on the ground, we torqued all the bolts down to spec. This one didn't move at all. That about covers it for this part of the build video. There is still so much more to do to get this rig ready for an upcoming week-long trip. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.